So, are you still ready to walk down the aisle again? This schedule that we agreed to. I mean, uh, uh, what were we thinking? Uh, tell me about it, yeah. Um, Say, I assume that you got one of these. I told the kids, no parties. We don't have any time. Natalie said, pipe down, Mom. All you have to do is show up for a few hours. We'll take care of everything. Yeah. Um, well, you know, there's a job in the diplomatic corps for a girl. Okay, how are you and Nora coming along with your wedding plans, hmm? Uh, just beautifully. We're barely speaking. Clint? I don't know if our part of the double wedding is going to happen. Hey, you want to catch a Phillies game next week? I just wanted to give Nora and Matthew another option. Now it's all gone to hell in a handbasket. Did you really tell Bo you would find another best man? Uh, yeah, not one of my better moments. There's a long list of those in this story, on both sides. Well, Vicki, I'm not asking you to fix anything. Well, that's good, because I can't. I'm just giving you a heads up and letting you know that you and Charlie might be having a single wedding after all. I mean, has it really gone that far? I don't know how we can get married with things the way they are. Well, that's true. So I apologize. For? For acting as if Nora chose Bo over you. If you had been there, you would have seen exactly that. Bo and Nora listened to Dr. Evans and decided that was not the right way to go for Matthew. It wasn't about you. And it wasn't about Bo. If Nora chose anyone, she chose Matthew. You're just trying to psych me out.